You are just about to finish your vitrectomy. The periphery is shaved and laser has been done. So let's perform the fluid air exchange and go home. But oops, the air pressure is zero. That means your air pump is not working. So you cannot finish the surgery. And as this problem is not enough, the closest technical assistance is almost a day away from where you are working. Then you have an idea. Let's use the wall's oxygen. But here comes the issue, how can we measure the air pressure? So I'll ask the audience to help me considering the manometer we have in front of us. How many millimeters of mercury is 1 kilogram per square centimeter? If you said A, B, C or D, you are wrong. The right answer is this. Are you sure you want to use that watch at the wall? It doesn't seem very precise or safe. So we need a tool inside the OP room that could help us to manage the air pressure more precisely. And there is no better option if your vitrectomy machine is not working than the anesthesia cart. Here you can see that we have the oxygen tubing installed with a three-way stopcock in order to leave the original tubing to avoid hypoxia and add a second one which will substitute the compromised air pump. Everything is set, but we still don't know how to measure and control the air pressure. The solution was invented by Samuel von Bosch in 1881. It is easy besides being very precise. It is called sphygma manometer. We connect it to the tubing and here we use the O2 humidifier to adjust the pressure we want as a target. And last but not least, don't forget to connect the air filter between the tubes in order to deliver clean air into the eye. After all, even in extreme situations, patient safety is our number one concern. Happy fluid air exchange and thank you all for the time and attention.